and two. Sponsored by McDonald's, Steen Enterprises, and Palmetto Ford Lincoln. Welcome into the Blitz on 2. He's Brandon, I'm Evan, and we have another fantastic show filled with big plays, big hits, and of course, plenty of drama. Yeah, you know, it feels like fall, and with the season changing, region, region play is finally here, Evan, and teams are just hoping they don't fall out of the race for a state championship. You got it, yeah, and here are some of the big games we're following tonight. A matchup of the top two teams in 4A Region 8, 5-1 and one, Buford at 7-0 and oh, Kane Bay. It was a slugfest that you are about to see. And the other undefeated team in the low country, Bishop England, taking their show on the road to Manning. Plus, a familiar face squares off with one of the oldest teams. Quarterback Hunter Taylor, his old team, the Stratford Knights, take on the Green Wave and the Wildcats of West Ashley. Go for an upset win at Bagwell Stadium, facing the state champs in 4D. But we start with our game of the week, a Skiza showdown. Porter Gowd can clinch a share of the region title and a first round bye with a win tonight, taking on Lawrence Manning. The house about to calm down at PG. Cyclones came out on the attack. Oliver Michelle finds his favorite target, Dante Smith. Dante finds the red zone. And a couple plays later, Michelle finds the end zone. On the keeper, it's 7-0. Porter Gout in front. Lawrence Manning's first possession ended like this. Shaquille Robinson stopped on third Dang, down. The Swampcats stopped. give the ball back to PG. And Oliver Michelle turning on the burners right here. He's keeping it. And he will be stopped, but it's inside the red zone as the Cyclones are back in business. Later, it's third down, and Michal can't find anyone. It's not November, but he is gobbled up for the loss. The Cyclones do get a field goal. It's 10-0, Porter Gout on top. Back come the Cats, but the Porter Gout defenders are moving their bodies like a Cyclone to force another punt. Defense stepping up big tonight. Meanwhile, Michal in the PG offense with a PG-13 play right here, avoiding defenders. Find Smith streaking down the sidelines. He is going wow. to be in for the touchdown, but you see the laundry right there, a flag. It's called back, no problem. Michal in for another touchdown to make it 17-0. Porter Gowd with a big win, 41-15. They can clinch the region title outright next week with a win at Pinewood Prep. Big win for them. Kane Bay might be a class 4A team, but mm -hmm. they've proved to be competitive starting with their season with three wins against 5A schools. Seven games in, they're still undefeated, but they had a tough one tonight against a 5-1 Buford team. And Buford at Kane Bay in the first. Kane Bay, check them out. Undefeated. That's what it looks like. Everybody's eating good. They're hungry. Check it out. In the first quarter, they give it to D4. We've seen this before. In for the end zone for one. That's easy. They're up 7-0. Now, their offense has been stellar all year because of this guy, RR Twice. Roderick takes it, presses the B button, uh, he's gone, running out the frame there in 4 6, up 14 0. I thought RT was the turbo. It's B button. I got it. Think you. Xbox, now okay. PlayStation. Okay. <laughs> Kane Bay's running game, a masterpiece for the Cobras in this one. Kane Bay goes on to win 35 to 21. In North Charleston, West Ashley tied for second place with a 3-1 region record with everyone else looking up at their opponent tonight, 4-0 for Dorchester. First quarter, scoreless game. Here comes the fort with the cousin connection. It's Dakari and Joyner finding his older relative, Adonicus Sanders, who just scooped right by a West Ashley defender. In for the tutty, it's 7-0. Now the Blue Men made their money in the passing game tonight. Joyner to Justin Williams. 68 yards, he catches it off the tip drill, tackled tip two drill. yards shy of the end zone, but the next play, Williams on the reverse, he's taking care of it this time, in for the score, it's 14 up in the fort on top, West Ashley trying to make something happen, still in the first inning score, Chris Eddington fakes the handoff, wow. he sees a whole lot of green in front of him, 20 <laughs> yards to cut that lead in half, 14-7, but that's the only time West off. Ashley would find the end zone tonight, Fort Dorchester wins big, 47-7. How about that game, Steve Brad? Your team now 5-0 and in region. It's good, but you know, once again, man, West Ashley's good. And we gave up seven points. You know, it goes back to defense, too. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of the offense. They made great plays. Our defense, you know, hangs in there. And our specialty teams, you know, you really think we don't give anything up big, you know. But, gosh, we had punted. God, I don't even know the last time we punted. I mean, it's been three or four games. <laughs> They haven't punted in three or four <laughs> games. Can you believe that? In Manning, Bishop England put their 7-0 record on the line, but they fall up short. 
to Manning. 26-22, the Bishops now 7-1, but 1-1 one one wow. in 3A Region 7. Big loss there. Yeah, that's not good. Wando, another team tied for second place in 5A Region 7, hosting Ashley Ridge in the second half. Tied at 17, they would have to do the second half without Game Kockamick or Trey Smith. Whoa. He's out, rolled his ankle in the second quarter. Of course, just for precaution, he said he's fine. He's done this before. No Smith in the third quarter, so Caleb Davis, he goes up top to Riley Ellsworth. Uh, no good. Ashley Ridge, Diedrich Spence is there, gets a hand on it. Following play, check out this. This is a D lineman. Owen Treppen passes the pocket and uh, picks six for Ashley Ridge. How about that? All the way to the end zone, to the house for that. That's what you call big time defense. Ashley Ridge would take the lead 24-17, but Wando wins 31-29. Big time players make big time plays in big time games. Baptist Hill was 4-8 and eight last year. Their offseason prayers answered. They're 7-1 and one this year, and tonight they played at St. John's, who has already matched their win total from last year. They're 5-3. and three. Islanders with possession first. Cameron Smiley to Lorenz Gibbons. Check out the hit right here. Oh, but Gibbons goodness. holds on for the nice catch. Later on the drive, Smiley pitching it to Gibbons this time. He's like an Uber driver, taking three bad to still players for a ride until the play is blown dead. But Lorenz is on a roll and whenever you're on a roll you better feed the man he jukes left once Ooh. twice cuts Ooh. it back right Ooh. takes four defenders to bring him down sets like up Cameron Smiley something. from six yards out he fakes out a defender and a cameraman and it's six nothing right there St. John's on top Baptist still known for their offense but not tonight Corey Fields sacked and the Islanders take back over it's fourth down now for the Islanders they got to make something happen the handoff to Lorenz Givens who hands it off to TJ Givens who finds some running room makes a cut takes it in to put the Islanders ahead 14 nothing after a two-point conversion I don't know if they still do this but uh, they were shaking it like a Polaroid picture nah. tonight on James Island right here yeah shake nah. it is don't that even a thing nah it's all about the selfie and St. John's Stop. feeling themselves 54-8 over oh, Baptist Hill <laughs> More from 3A Region 7, Lake Marion and Hanahan both looking for their first region win of the season. But before the game hit coach, Charlie Patterson receiving the honor as an assistant coach in this year's Shrine Bowl. Congrats to him. But check this out, opening kickoff, it's not that good. Quincy Mitchell, guys, there's only one reason worth showing you this. He's back for the kick. Mitchell makes a few moves, tucks it high and tight Boom. from his own 20, no one's gonna catch yards for the touchdown. Uh, yeah. Put up that finger, big fella. You're in for six. They take an early seven, nothing. The next offensive possession, Hawks hand it off to Jerry Bailey. He finds a gap inside, takes a step to the outside, making a beeline for the pylon. He's in for Hanahan's second touchdown, 14 nothing. They're still in the first in that one. But the Hawks are going to win 47 nothing. Hanahan wins. Uh, they did that nothing. I think we call that an easy win. That's beyond an easy win. That's the truth. All right, don't go anywhere. We still have plenty of highlights to see. Yeah. We're checking on in the showdown in Flower Town. How about oh, that game, my Brandon? Goodness. That's a big one. Out with the old, in with the new. Former Green Wave quarterback leads his new team against his old team. Find out if Stratford's Knight can pick up their first win of the season. Coming up next.